good morning today class today we should talk about human eye and colorful world in the physical lesson okay let us start eye is the most important sense of organ to us so it gives us sense of vision you know the you know guy is right eye is very important sense organ okay human eye works on the principle of vision response vision response we have studied in the previous classes about it i think so right light sensors present in eye act as knowledge receptors these light sensors receive light signals so guys uh, it's very important light sensors which is there in our eye which can get reflected again and we can able to see any object and there are three main parts in human eye there are the eyelids eyelashes eyebrows and lacrimal glands one by six of the eyeball is visible to us it's it's mean that i get my in my point of view they are eyelids eyelashes and eyebrows you think that all the just um to make up things right but these are the very valuable things of the eye which can save the and protect the eye as as long and one by six of the eyeball is visible to us so when we see our eye we can see only the one by six of the part but they have five by six part we have left for seeing it is internally there okay there are three layers in human eye that's clear a carrier layer iris okay there are three so this is the outermost layer it's tough thick non-elastic fibrous layer and elastic means a change in shape while applying force okay chloride layer it's not the it contain a lot of blood vessels in black in color so iris the part formed by the chloride layer and the pupil is iris radical and circular muscles are present in iris and uh, guys so these are the uh, parts of the eye which can protect our eye and we can see the any object at any distance okay and inner part of the eye is divided into two parts by biconvex lens made of muscles so you know that biconvex lens so which is divided into two parts in eye wall it's just made up of muscles and in our eye there are many blood vessels also that's why our eye is so smooth okay first part of the eye bottle is filled with fluid hence called aqueous chamber aqueous chamber is help to change the eyelid to there to there so to see any object in any direction aqueous chamber and aqueous fluid also present in the corneal range okay second part of the eye bottle is filled with some jelly called vitreous chamber so it is also just present in eye uh, many parts present in eye and have get gray. they have so many things to see it's, it's like god's one dog god's great gift so rods and cones are present in retina so retina so this is eye so this is the point of retina so this retina and retina they have two types one is cones and one is rods do you guys so rods and cones are very important see rods rods can give a light intensity it mean see guys one example else in a hot summer day when you go to the outside of the afternoon you can see the uh, your eyes was just very stressed we are feeling very strain in the summer when you see in the sunlight so then you will be feel very very clumsy then the eye in the eye retina is present right in the retina rods can help us to to get protect from the sunlight and cones when we see the colors so it just belongs to the cones belongs to colors and rods belongs to light intensity okay guys I, i think so you get clarity and blind spot is the area of no vision so in a in a i also they have some blind spot you know guys but so many members didn't know this blind spot there is no vision in it so every eye consists in it yellow spot is the area of best vision this is called a macula so in a eye the many colors when it uh, uh, seen in the very electro microscope so then you can get the visions of colors so then the yellow color the yellow spot in the area of the west vision is called the macula okay image of the object forms on retina it's real and inverted so it's very important based on the based on the exam examination point of view so impo- image of the object forms on the retina it is real and inverted it is real and inverted the real image which will form in the plane mirror only but again it can form in our eyes it's wonder you know 
and rods and cones are called light sensitive cells or photoreceptors so why we'll call the photoreceptors because see guys rods and cones so i already discussed about you rods are light intensity and cones are related to colors yes 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 to to see colors also it mean if if light is not there in any object you cannot see any one even its color or anything else so so my um, i am telling you that these are called the photoreceptors photoreceptors why it will call photoreceptors receptors is nothing but to take i mean to grasp to grasp something right so has like that photo photo photon so light light unit is photon and light it will grasp the light so without had light we cannot see anything else so it's called the photoreceptors and these cells absorb light energy and create nerve impulses so it can absorb light energy i have discussed you know and next it uh, create nerve impulses yeah it create nerve impulses and is uh, connected to the brain and can brain can do cerebrum cerebellum by all these we can get something seen okay Okay. creating nerve impulses the important duty of these cells yes these rods and cones the primary thing the primary function of it is to just um what uh, i mean uh, transfer these signals to there to there you know so these nerve impulses are sent through the optic nerve to mind you know that optic nerve uh, you have studied in your in your earlier classes about it optical nerve in a biology we can see that okay next rods cannot distinguish the color differences but they able us to see the object even in low light so this is because of the pigment red dots in present in rods so rods yeah guys i'll tell you an example so when the current power cut when the power cut you can see some objects some objects there in it and you can even find out it too uh what's the reason about it i think so you don't know about it but now now you can get the clarity of it rods rods bolo rods and guys be uh, keep in mind rods had pigment rhodopsin rhodopsin here there is rhodopsin so it will help to us to see any object in the low light team so that we can see and guys cones improve the quality of the image so quality of vision is cones related so cones improve the quality of the image image of the quality when when it will increase so when the color was there with a black and white so guys i will tell you an example you see color movie or see black and white movie which movie you can like most you like obviously you can just the color movie because black and white movies were we didn't get the much dominant right color movie is the dominant one so as like that cones improve the quality of the image quality of the image just depends on the color so cones can uh, uh, responsible for the vision in the quality way no two people will have same iris like fingerprints this is why iris photos are collected to recognize a person like other and in some police cases these iris is collected from the person so do not their eyes after that yes guys so so many members iris can donate it so you know that every fingerprints are not same in any in any human being right so it's like that iris also will be iris is the one dominant character to and the person so that when you're going to the other they will see the eyes and fingerprints um okay so i think so you have understood this topic today it's the part one of the human eye and the colorful world i'll tell you the part two also until then subscribe my channel please